Hey, Marisa. It's on your desk. Are you guys constantly answering people's questions before they even ask you? Or as a kid, were you labeled as a know-it-all? As a kid? What does that mean? Where sometimes information just comes to you and it's like a download from a computer. Maybe you're jogging or you're driving and then all of a sudden you have that uh -huh moment and it's like the best idea in the world just came to you. If this sounds like you, you might be clear cognizant. So stick around because I'm going to show you how to strengthen that psychic superpower of yours. What's wrong? I'll take that. Zoe, I need that. That's my crown chakra. <laughs> Clear cognizance. Now this one, it's all about downloading the information through your crown chakra. So as much as I like it, I don't need the gold tiara. That chakra is right bum, bum, here. And everyone, all you guys out there, you all have this access point where you receive your, yes, your spiritual knowledge. And sometimes this information, it comes to you like a flash, like out of nowhere. For me personally, like I've been at parties sometimes and I'll go shake somebody's hand and you get this download of information about them and you're like, uh, that's a little more than I was asking for. Mystics, with this superpower, you guys are often quick thinkers, fast movers, and you're probably a trendsetter. Some people, they believe that this information comes for your angels or from source or from your spirit guides. Again, guys, it doesn't matter what you wanna call it. What's important is you start to accept it, be aware of it, and get better at receiving it. But in order to receive all this intuitive information, your crown chakra, it should be open. So we're gonna do some exercises to help open and align your crown chakra, and it's going to Strengthen this superpower. Exercise number one, automatic writing. So automatic writing, this is a perfect way to strengthen this, Claire. Grab your notebook, grab a pen, and ask your higher self a question. What is my life purpose? What do I wanna do as a career? Who am I gonna add to my list? I mean bucket list. Sometimes I like to ask the question before I go to sleep, and then I do the writing first thing in the morning before everyone else is up because then I'm already relaxed and it's really easy for me to slip into the receiving frequency. But remember, asking and receiving, two different frequencies. So if you can't start the night before, then give yourself some time to transition. Relax, breathe deeply, connect with the universe, and then write down whatever comes into your mind. It doesn't matter if it sounds like a load of crap at first. No one's gonna read it, just you're gonna read it. So. It's important just for you to be like free flow. Don't worry about punctuation, neatness, your style. Get that ego out of the way. Goodbye, ego. Goodbye. And just allow yourself to receive. It could take one or two or three pages before you even get the answer, but that's okay. Just be ready to receive. Exercise number two, meditation. So when you're working on your claircognizance, I usually meditate for five minutes a day with this intention. So get comfortable, close your eyes. I want you to take a deep breath and then concentrate on your breath. And I want you to attempt to quiet that chatter in your mind. It's not easy, so be kind to yourself. Now imagine roots flowing out of the bottoms of your feet, connecting to a ball of liquid gold at the center of the earth. Allow this gold energy to travel up your chakras and I want you to light each one in sequence. And then when you reach your crown chakra, visualize white light pouring down into this chakra. And then sit with this visualization for a few minutes. And I want you to believe that you are worthy and you are ready to receive the codes of higher light and source wisdom. Exercise number three, intention. Okay, so this one, it's not so much of an exercise as it is acceptance. Okay, I know a lot of people look at this sort of thing as kooky or we have that creepy person on TV representing it. Strange things will start to happen, but you must trust me. But that's a stereotype, guys. Clear cognizance is one of the most common clears, but you just have to be open to accepting the information from the universe. First, it's important to set your intention to develop this psychic superpower. Next, commit to becoming more conscious of it. 
be aware of when messages come to you. Write them down. Write your intention down. Even ask your guides or your higher self to send you information and then listen. So those are three powerful exercises I do to strengthen my clear cognizance. So as you saw, strengthening your mental ability is at the core for developing this clear. But it's important that you begin to discern the difference between your ego messages and the higher frequency. And this is called discernment. Is the message you received from your spiritual guides or was it your ego mind? It's really easy to get those mixed up at first. So for me, I discovered that when I receive an idea or advice from my higher self, it usually follows with a really warm feeling in my chest. And that's why so many people associate with this Claire with your heart chakra, because the feeling is light and it's positive. It never uses words like you should or you can't. If you hear those words, you know that it's your ego talking for sure. Advice from my ego is always a little heavier and it's limited and it's usually tied to an old belief pattern. Remember, your higher self only has your best intentions at heart. So think of these messages as gifts. And who doesn't like gifts? Oh! <laughs> Enjoy them. Until next time, I'm Marisa Greco, your mystical guide. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It's that big red button. Also, if you wanna see more stuff, head over to Patreon. I got a lot of goodies over there. And again, thank you so much for your support.